Welcome to the Agility in Real Life podcast, Take 5 in Real Life. Now your hosts, my Studeman and Jeff Lee. Hi, welcome back to the Agility IRL's Take 5 IRL podcast. I am one of your hosts and a partner at Agility IRL, Jeff Lee. And I'm the other host and the other partner at Agility IRL, Mike Studeman. I thought I'd throw you off this time by throwing in the host as well as the partner, but you you manage that better than expected, Mike. Congratulations. I am I am very agile. I'm very agile. <laughs> yes. Uh, so question for you. Um, you know, we we talked a lot about um, developers managing the daily scrum. Um, how do you do that? What are some good ways for developers to manage their own daily scrum? Yeah, first uh, first thing, and maybe this is uh, self-explanatory, but don't limit yourself to the three questions of what did you do yesterday to achieve the sprint goal? What are you going to do today to achieve the sprint goal? And what impediments do you have to the sprint goal? The three questions are valuable, but they're meant to be a way to answer a bigger question. That bigger question is, are you going to meet the sprint goal or not? So uh, first tip in, in my uh, experience is don't limit yourself to the three questions. Uh, stay focused on the sprint goal and, and mix it up. Maybe you want to uh, uh, answer the question of what's the most important thing for us to do today to get to the sprint goal. What about you, Jeff? What are some ways to uh, help those developers uh, better self-manage? Yeah, yeah. For me, I hate the three questions. Uh, they used to be in the Scrum Guide. They're they're not in there anymore. But um, I, I like to me, they really focus on individual rather than group. And so what I like to do is is have people have a full view of what's coming up in the sprint. Now, some of our tools make it hard to do that. And we really have an incentive to filter by person as we're going through it. And we lose, we lose the big picture when we do that. So finding a way to represent a single view where you see the progress of the entire sprint, not filtering by individuals um, is huge in order to see how you are progressing as a team. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I mean, you really have to find ways to focus on that goal. It's not about our individual progress anymore. It's about are we as a team going to or not going to meet that goal? Mm -hmm. And if we're not going to meet it, what uh, can we do about it? The the other tip that I'd give, and and this is really more for the Scrum Masters out there, uh, less for the developers, is Scrum Masters, let the developers be okay with some silence in the daily Scrum. Don't feel like you always have to jump in when somebody isn't saying anything, silence, uh, as you well know, Jeff, is a powerful facilitation technique. Absolutely. Sometimes just be okay with the developers kind of sitting with the information uh, for a second. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with that. Um, and you know, the other tip I was going to offer here is um, one that really focuses on uh, limiting your work in progress And so when you're walking through, rather than going person by person, sometimes, or maybe all the time, uh, look at the board and see what's almost done and talk about that first. How do we get that to done? Okay. How about the next thing? How do we get that one to done? And so it's really about not only trying to get like all the scope of the sprint done by the end, but taking little bits across that line um, and focusing on, on the getting complete with the things that are almost there. Yeah, a, a walk the board approach, as you just articulated, mm-hmm. very, very valuable, uh, I think, in uh, not only uh, having more productive daily scrums, but also helping teams achieve that sprint goal uh, every uh, every sprint. I, I think another thing to always consider is, and this might be a little bit too pedantic, but uh, really understand what you mean by when you say, I have an impediment. To me, an impediment means anything that threatens the sprint goal which by default means if I say I don't have any impediments, that means we're going to meet the sprint goal. I find that when I introduce that to teams in the real world, oftentimes they'll say, you know, no impediments to each other. And I'll say, okay, so that means that you're going to meet the sprint goal. And all of a sudden they're like, whoa, 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 student. We didn't say that. <laughs> and I'm like, but you did. And that's when someone, uh, perhaps due to a lack of psychological safety, uh, you know, kind of raises their hand and says, hey, I didn't want to bring this up, but I'm really worried about X. Well, X is an impediment and the team needs to know that if they're going to uh, have a better chance of meeting that goal. Right. Yeah. Excellent tip. Uh, So hopefully this is helpful for you. Five tips in about five minutes on how to make your daily scrums better. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, everyone. 
The product vision for Take 5 in Real Life is to provide members of the Agile community with an idea that they can incorporate into their daily lives to make them more effective. We thank you for listening and we'll see you next time.